Hi everyone! Today I'm doing some repotting, watering, pruning, and dusting to get my plants ready for sale. So why I do that, I'll also tell you more about why and how I'm getting rid of all my plants, as well as some tips on selling plants. So let me clear up some space to repot this neon pothos and I'll dive right in. By the way, I'm repotting this neon pothos because the plant was not potted firmly in the soil in the first place, so I just want to place it deeper in the soil. The reason for getting rid of all my plants is simple, and it's because I'm moving back home to Canada in less than a month. I've been living in the UK for the past three years, and it's time for me to go back. I'm not planning on taking any plants under the plane with me, so I need to get rid of all of them, whether it's selling, giving them away for free, or throwing them in the trash bin. Most of my plants are in good condition, so I would like to try to sell them. I'm definitely feeling bittersweet about leaving all the plants behind. I knew I was going to move sometime this year, but I didn't expect it to be this soon. What I am most sad about is missing the growing season. Seeing plants grow is one of my favorite things about keeping houseplants, so it's really unfortunate that I won't get to see these plants grow bigger this summer. Now that I'm done with repotting, I'll just give the plants some water and voila! Next, I'm going to wipe the dust off some plants. I'm usually pretty good with watering them, but I tend to slack off when it comes to pruning and dusting the leaves. So I want to do that before I take pictures and list them up for sale. My plan for getting rid of all my plants are to sell between now and when I move all the plants that are doing well on Facebook Marketplace or Gumtree. So if the plant is in good enough condition that I can see myself buying, then I would sell it. I'm selling them locally so the buyer would pick it up instead of me having to ship the plant to them. Just to simplify things because moving is already hectic enough. Then there are some plants that I would need for videos which I'll keep uh, until right before I actually have to leave. These two spider plants are one of them. Comment below if you can guess what video I'm making with them. Then there are the plants that will go straight into the garbage bin. For me, that plant is this croton because it's got these bugs in the saucer and I have no idea what they are even after searching them up in Google. So let me know if you know what they are. It's been here for about half a year, I would say, and I've been using neem oil on them, which seems to keep them under control, but it doesn't seem to be enough to eradicate them. The good thing is they don't seem to be harming the plant, and it hasn't spread to other plants. But I would still feel really bad to sell or give this plant away, so it's going to the trash. For bigger plants with too many leaves, like this dusty spider plant, I bring them to the kitchen sink to rinse off the dust and water at the same time. I like rinsing off plants in the kitchen sink rather than my bathroom because my shower is very narrow, so it's just quite awkward to give the plants a shower in there. You might remember um, how small my shower is from my apartment tour video. So for a short plant like this, the kitchen sink is just easier. Now that I have cleaned up the plants, it's time for the photo shoot. I like having photos of the same plant from two different angles to give buyers a better idea of what the plant looks like. It's better to take photos when there's a lot of sunlight, but the forecast said it would be cloudy for like the next two weeks, so I just decided to take photos today even though the lighting isn't great. The photos automatically get uploaded to my Google Photos, which I also use for some minimal editing. I do edit photos for when I'm trying to sell things, but I only really adjust the brightness and contrast. So basically, I want the photos to look good while making sure that the plants in the photos are still the same as how they look in real life, um, so that I don't mislead any potential buyers. Also, I don't use filters or anything like that. On top of that, because I chose not to do shipping, all the buyers will be able to see the plants in person and inspect it before uh, they decide to take it. 
The other thing I always do when selling a plant is to include the size of the pot that it's in, just to give the potential buyer a better idea of its size, because people are more willing to pay a higher price for a bigger plant. I've already moved by the time that I am editing this video, and I'd say that more than half of the plants were sold secondhand, uh, mostly on Facebook Marketplace. A few plants are in good condition, but I couldn't find buyers, so I ended up giving them away to my friends. And also, the last few days before the actual move were very hectic and stressful, so it was just easier for me to give some plants away. Anyways, I am now settled into my new apartment in Canada and I can't wait to start my houseplant collection again and document them so I can share that with you all. I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye!